Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with game five of the 2001 World Series replay. And uh, currently, the uh, Diamondbacks are down in this series uh, three games to one. So the Diamondbacks, this is a must-win game for the Diamondbacks. And they are sending Miguel Batista up to the uh, mound. Now, normally, if I were playing this series myself, and I was, I mean, I am. But if I was, like, using, if I wasn't holding myself to the rules that we were going to use all of the actual starting pitchers and all of the actual lineups, I would be starting uh, Randy Johnson right now because this is an elimination game for the Diamondbacks. But um, I'm not going to change the rules midstream. So we are using the actual pitchers and the actual lineups that were actually used in each game. And therefore, Batista was the starting pitcher for the Diamondbacks, and he'll be going up against Mike Messina of the Yankees, who did pitch game one of the series. So um, with uh, that out of the way, we are going to get into the game. I will go over the lineups as the teams come up. The team batting first is the uh, Diamondbacks. We are still in Yankee Stadium. And originally the Diamondbacks lost this game three to two. So we'll see if this version of Batista can actually pull out the win. The uh, leadoff batter is going to be Tony Womack, the shortstop. Uh, the second batter will be Craig Council. He's playing second base. Luis Gonzalez is batting third, and he'll be the left fielder. Uribeo Durazo is going to be the DH, batting in the cleanup spot. Batting fifth will be Matt Williams, the third baseman. The sixth batter will be Steve Finley, and he's playing center field. Batting seventh is Reggie Sanders, and he is going to play right field as he has all series long. In the eighth spot, you're going to have Mark Grace, the first baseman, and the ninth hitter will be Rod Baraha, making his first appearance in the World Series, and he will be the catcher. Um, and so with that, I guess we get underway. I guess we get underway here. And uh, we got a 2-2 as the first roll, and... Um, He's going up against Messina, who's a righty, and that's going to be a line out to second base. Line out four. There's one down very quickly, and Craig Council is the batter. He gets a 6-10. He's a left-handed batter. That's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. That is going to be Brocious. He is a 2-E-30. That is a 12 and that's going to be on the card. So we're going to have to, on the error rating section, that is a 6 in the 30 range, which probably can't be good. And it is going to be an E1. So um, Council gets on by an E5. And that brings up Gonzalez, their power-hitting left fielder. And he gets a 5-2. He is a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball double play to second base. So he gets a, he hits into a 4-6-3 uh, double play. And the Diamondbacks get no runs in the first. We go to the bottom of the first and we're going to see this uh, Batista is going to be tested here. Against this lineup, Derek Jeter leading off as the first batter and playing shortstop. The second batter will be Paul O'Neill, and he'll be the right fielder. The third batter is going to be Bernie Williams playing center field. In the cleanup spot, you're going to have Tino Martinez playing first base. The fifth batter will be the catcher, Jorge Posada. The sixth batter will be Shane Spencer, and he's playing left field. The seventh batter will be David Justice, and he's the DH today. Batting eighth is Scott Brocious playing third base, and Alfonso Soriano is the second baseman in batting ninth. Jeter gets a 210. Batista is a righty, 
and that is going to be a an out. That's going to be a ground ball back to the pitcher. So he goes one to three. There's one away. Bringing up Paul O'Neill. Polly O'Neill gets a one five. That's going to be a fly ball to right. And Bernie Williams is the batter. Switch hitting center fielder. And he gets a 4-9, and 4-9 is going to be a, that's going to be a line out to second base. So he lines out to uh, four, and the Yankees go quickly in the first. We go to the top of the second. And in the top of the second, Eurebio Durazo will greet Mr. Messina. 5-8. He is a left-handed batter, and that is going to be a strikeout. That is the first strikeout of the game, and it's the first strikeout, therefore, also for Messina. Matt Williams comes up. He gets a 3-8, and that is going to be a double. So, Matt Williams ripping a double. Messina with his first hit allowed right there. And Steve Finley. Steve Finley is the batter. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. And that is going to be a single to left field. And uh, they're going to hold up Williams because he is not that great. So there is one out and runners are at the corners. Hit, second hit allowed by Messina. Reggie Sanders is up, and he gets a 2-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. So there's two away. Second strikeout for Messina in the game and in this inning. And Mark Grace is the batter. He gets a 3-4, and that is going to be a double. And let's see if they're going to send the runner. Um That's a hit allowed by Messina. At least one run will score. Um, and this is Finley. So Finley, you got to think that they would send Finley. Um, he is a running 1-14. to 14, And the uh, throwing arm is the left fielder. And he has a negative 2. So it would be a 1-12. to 12, But Barajas coming up. So they are going to try to send him. And he does make it. So it is a two-run hit. So William scores. And so does Finley. And then that brings up Baraha, who has a terrible card. And he gets a 2-4, and that is a foul out to third base. So it was a good decision to send him. The Diamondbacks get two off of Messina right there. And we go to the bottom of the second with Tino Martinez up. He gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a... That is going to be a fly ball to right field. Deep, deep fly ball to right field. One away. Jorge Posada gets a 5-3, and he would he's a switch hitter, so he would be batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman is Grace. you got to believe he's good. 2-E-7, that's a 4, probably going to be an out, and it is. Two away. And that brings Shane Spencer to the plate. And he gets a 212, and a 212 is a ballpark home run, but it doesn't fall in that range. So it's a fly number another fly ball deep to right field. Reggie Sanders has had to make two plays up against the wall. But no runs come in for the Yankees there. We go to the top of the third, and Tony Womack, the top of the order for the Diamondbacks. And he gets a 3-5, and that is going to be a line out to second base. Line out four, one away, 
and Craig Council is the batter, and he gets a 5-4, and that is going to be a catcher card X. That is Baraha, who is a 3-E-10. That's an 8. Got to look at the other side of the card. 8 and 3, that's going to be a ground ball C. So there's two away. Or wait a minute. No, that was Posada. The wrong catcher. He is still a 3, though, so it is still a ground out. Um, so Council grounds out to the catcher. And uh, Luis Gonzalez is the batter. And he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be an out. That's going to be a fly ball to right field. Again, a deep one because the alternative would have been a triple. So we go to the bottom of the third um, with Arizona still leading 2 nothing. David Justice is the batter. David Justice, 2-6, is going to be a strikeout. So, um, Batista with his first strikeout of the game. Scotty Brocious gets a 4-10. He's a right-handed hitter. And that is going to be a... That's going to be an out. It's going to be a fly ball left field. Which brings up Alfonso Soriano. And he gets a 4-8, and that is going to be a walk. So that's the first guy to reach base for the Yankees is Soriano. And it's on a walk. Bringing us back to the top of the order. And Derek Jeter, the captain. And he gets a 1-6. That's going to be a single double asterisk and put runners at the corners, but there is two outs. We will have to correct that there. That's the first hit allowed by Batista. And Paul O'Neill is the hitter, and he gets a 2-9, and that is going to be a single to right field, and it scores one run. And that runner is Soriano, who walked. So Batista gives up a hit and a run, and Bernie Williams is up. They're not even going to try to take the extra base. You don't want to make that third out at um, third. He gets a 1-9, though, and it is a walk that loads the bases. So uh, they're doing a good enough job getting, uh, getting to Batista here. He walks him, and then Tino Martinez steps up. Now, the Diamondbacks really can't afford to lose this game, or the series is over. 6-5, he is a left-handed batter, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Unfortunately, shortstop is not their strong suit in this game. He is a 3-E-32, and that is a 1, so that's going to be probably a single double asterisk. It is going to be a single double asterisk, and two runs are going to score on that. Martinez knocking in two runs. In the persons of Jeter and O'Neill, Paul O'Neill. So Batista allows a third hit and a third and the third run that he's allowed. And Jorge Posada is up. And he gets a 6-7. He would be batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to second. That's Council. Council is pretty good. He's a 2-E-4. That is a 5. I'm going to guess that's an out. And it is. So he grounds out 4-3. But the Yankees take the lead by scoring three runs in the third. And we're going to the top of the fourth. Durazo is up against Messina. And he gets a 3-9, and that's going to be a fly ball to right field. One out, and Matt Williams is up, and he gets a 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven, uh, is going to be a strikeout. 
So Messina strikes out his third guy, bringing up Steve Finley. And Steve Finley gets a 5-9. And 5-9 uh, is going to be a strikeout. So Messina, fourth strikeout for Messina right there. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the Yankees leading uh, by a score of 3-2. to two. Very close game still. It's still anybody's game. Jorge Posada is the batter. He gets a 3-3. Three, three. No, no, it's Spencer. Spencer is the batter. He gets a 3-3. Three, three. And that is a uh, single. So Spencer is aboard with a hit. And let me see. I'm going to look at the uh, Arizona bullpen. They are going to get um, hmm. they're going to get Eric Sable up in the bullpen. Arizona will, and uh, David Justice is the batter with nobody out and a runner at first base, and he gets a one six, which or no one seven. That's a walk. So there's two guys on. And Scott Brocious is the batter. He's facing the bottom of the order, so they're going to try to let him get out of this, but he's not going to at all. He That is going to be a double, and at least one run scores. Brocious hitting the double, scoring Spencer, but Justice is the runner. He'll stop at third. They might as well, because they got something good going here. And that is going to be it for Batista. Batista goes... Three, he just goes three, really, because he didn't get an out yet in the fourth. Batista is out, and Sable is going to come in. Eric Sable. In 2001, Eric Sable was three and two with a 438 earned run average. He's going to be the pitcher. That's going to be tasked with trying to get the outs here. Alfonso Soriano is the batter. They will bring the infield in. The Diamondbacks will. That is a 5-2. He is a righty. And uh, that is going to be a home run. That is a ballpark homer right there, my friends. Soriano knocks them all home. Three-run Jack greets Eric Sable, and it is not looking good. <laughs> it is really not looking good for the Diamondbacks uh, winning this series, as they did in real life. Derek Jeter is up. He gets a 2-3, um, and Sable is a righty. That's a ground ball to second, so that's the first out. And... That brings to the plate Paul O'Neill. Polly gets a 4-9, and that is going to be a single. Paul O'Neill with a hit. Bernie Williams gets a 4-6. Four, 4-6, six. Four, six, and he is going to be batting uh, left. It is going to be a strikeout. Sable strikes out a man.
and uh, Tino Martinez is the batter. Yeah. And he gets a 5-8. Five, 5-8 eight. Five, eight is a ground ball to second base. 4-3. to three. But that's the, that's the end of the inning for the uh, for the Yankees. But they get four runs right there, and they lead the game seven to two. Right now, seven to two, and Reggie Sanders is going to be the batter here in the top of the fifth against Messina. He gets a 3-4, and that is going to be a ground ball to second base. One away, and Mark Grace is the batter. He gets a 5-6, and um, that is going to be a single. So Mark Grace gets a board with a hit. Fourth hit allowed. Rod Baraja is the batter. That is a 5-9. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field, two away. And up steps the top of the order and Tony Womack. And he gets a 2-9, which is going to be a double... And they can try to send the runner. Oh, wait a minute. Can they? Yeah, they can. They can try to send the runner, but that's grace, so they're not going to do it. And they need runs. So they're going to have to hope that Craig Council can come up with a key base hit right here. And he gets a 6-9. And that is not going to be a key hit. It's going to be a strikeout. Messina strikes out his fifth guy of the game. No runs come across for the Diamondbacks. In the fifth, we go to the bottom of the fifth with the Yankees up. Sable still out there for the moment. Posada gets a 3-8 and that is going to be a double. So uh, the, the onslaught just continues. The Yankees really have been hitting very well in this series. Better probably, I would have to guess, than they did in real life. And um, Shane Spencer is up. He gets a 2-8. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop. One away. Justice is the batter. He gets a 2-9. That's going to be a strikeout. So Sable, with his second strikeout since he's come on. And Scotty Brocious gets a 3-7. That is going to be a single double asterisk and score the run. So Brocious has been knocking runs in left and right in this particular game. Sable allows a hit and another run. And... Alfonso Soriano is up, and he gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a home run. Are you kidding me? Soriano with his second, with back-to-back -back home runs for him, knocks in another run. Uh, fifth hit allowed for Sable, two more runs, and um, and Derek Jeter back to the top of the lineup. And he gets a one eight, and that's a single. So now they're just they're just um, wailing on uh, Sable. I mean, probably by now you would have had another reliever in, but I mean, I don't know if it matters now. It just got out of hand really quickly, and it went downhill from there. That's a ground ball, second base C for O'Neill, and that does end the inning. But not before the Yankees get three more runs in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth, and the score is uh, 10 to 2. 
And the Diamondbacks are in real serious trouble here. Uh, Luis Gonzalez will bat against uh, Messina. And that is a 5-6. And that's going to be a single. So they got, uh, you know, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. They got to try to put something together here because they're down by eight runs. Eurebiel Durazo is up. He gets a 2-8. That's a strikeout. Messina with his seventh strike or sixth strikeout of the game. Matt Williams is up. He gets a 4-7. That's going to be a strikeout. That's his eighth strikeout of the game. And Steve Finley is the batter. Steve Finley gets a 4-7. And that is a strikeout. So Messina allows a leadoff single, and then he just strikes the next three guys out. We go to the bottom of the sixth. They will not stick with Sable now. They're going to go to Swindell. Now, Swindell was a guy that they used a lot in the uh, series. He was like their go-to middle reliever. But he... But... I didn't initially bring him in because in 2001 he was two and six with a 253 earned run average. So you know, that's that's the performance you're probably going to get here, not his actual World Series performance, which may have been good. So uh, three show he goes two, Sable goes two, and we're going to bring in Swindell. And um, Bernie Williams, I believe, is the batter. Yes, he is. So that's who's going to greet Swindell here. He gets a 5-8. He would be batting right. And uh, that is going to be, it just doesn't stop. That's going to be a uh, double. So Bernie Williams ripping a double. And that's the, that's the problem you get with a replay like this when you're trying to replay a World Series is you might have a guy that had a really bad season or a, like subpar season, but in the World Series, for whatever reason, for those few games, he was great. And that isn't going to be reflected in the cards. So Tino Martinez is the batter with a man at second. He gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a fly ball to center field, one away. Posada is the batter. He gets a 210, and that is going to be a ground ball second base C. That does move the bat the runner over to third. And Shane Spencer is the batter. And he gets a 4-4 right-handed batter, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 3E something or other. What is he? A 3E32. Not good. And that was a 10. So it's going to be on the 32. It's going to go to the air rating, which you don't want it to. <laughs> 32 is a... And I rolled a 7. That is going to be an error. So a run scores on the air. Shane Spencer getting on base. On an E6. Another run for the Yankees. And they're just piling it on. David Justice is the batter. He gets a 5-10. And uh, that is going to be a pop out to first base. But another run comes in. And it is now 11-2. The Yankees lead 11 to 2 here, top of the seventh inning. And they're going to take Messina out. Messina's only going to pitch six. They feel like this is, uh, this is good enough. And they will bring in Mark Wohlers just to get him some World Series action. 
he and Justice know each other really well as they were both on the Braves, I believe, previous to this year. Uh, Reggie Sanders is the batter, though. And he gets a 110, which is, Wollers is a righty, that's a strikeout, one away. Wollers with his first strikeout on his first batter. Mark Grace coming up. He gets a 4-7. And that's going to be a strikeout. So the Diamondbacks have now struck out uh, five consecutive batters have struck out for the Diamondbacks. And Rob Baraja is the batter. He gets a 1-6. That is going to be a pop-out to second. No runs come in for the D-backs in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh with Scotty Brocious up. He gets a 5-11. And uh, on Swindell, that is going to be a fly ball right field. So Brocious flies out. Two right, and Alfonso Soriano is up. He gets a 5-3. That is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a pitcher 3-E0. And that is a 9. And that would be on his card, but it's an out because he's a 0. So... He goes out one to three. And Jeter, back to the top of the order with the captain, Jeter. And he gets a five nine. And uh, that is going to be a strikeout. And that is Swindell's first strikeout. No runs come in for the Yankees for the first time in a while. We go to the top of the eighth. And the uh, Yankees will... They're going to stick with Wohlers. They'll let him pitch this inning. Uh, Womack, the leadoff batter, I believe, is the hitter. Yes. That is a 6-5. And that is going to be a... Let's see. What is his um, power versus... A right-handed pitcher. It's weak, so it's going to be a single. Womack getting on with a single. To lead off the eighth here. He's going to try to steal second. He does make it. It's a two, so there's no way he doesn't make it. And that's like his third stolen base of the series. So now there's a man at second with nobody out, and Craig Council is up, and he gets a 111, which is a ground ball second base A. So it's a good thing that they uh, that they that Womack stole, or that would have been two outs and nobody on. And Gonzalez is up. That is a three six. That's a single to right. Now they may send. Uh, Womack, he is a running one to 17. They're going to do it. I'll check if I have to, but he, that's again a two, so he would easily have scored. Gonzalez with the base hit, and uh, Wohlers gives up, what is that, two hits now and a run. And Eurebio Durazo is the batter. And he gets a 310, which is a ground ball first base B. So it's a fielder's choice, and he is aboard. And that brings up Matt Williams. Matt Williams gets a 4 4, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. So that is it. The Diamondbacks do strike for a run, but it is still 11 to 3. Yankees as we go to the bottom of the eighth and um, Paul O'Neill is up Swindell he was a starter he can go long this is a 512 
512 against a lefty that is going to be a ground ball first base O'Neill grounding out to grace at first base and Bernie Williams is the batter <coughs> he gets a 2-5 and that is a double oh wait a minute <coughs> yeah it is it's a double So, a double, Swindell giving up his first, that's the first hit Swindell's given up, and uh, Tino Martinez is up, he gets a 4-8, and that is going to be a strikeout, two away. And Jorge Posada gets a 5-6, and he would be batting right. And that is a strikeout as well. So they do, the Yankees do threaten a bit there, but they don't get a run. We go to the top of the ninth, and they are going to take, the Yankees are going to take out um, Wollers. It's going to be somebody else that will pitch now because he's gone too. That's probably his limit. And they will bring in, who are they going to bring in? They will bring in Mike Stanton. So the uh, Diamondbacks have the unenviable task of uh, trying to get, what, nine, eight, nine, yeah, eight runs here in the ninth inning off of um, Mike Stanton. Finley is the first batter. He gets a 3-8. Stanton is a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball to second. Four to three, and Sanders is the batter. He gets a 5-7, and that is going to be a single. So the Diamondbacks do get a guy aboard. Stanton gives up a hit. Mark Grace is the batter. He gets a 5-3. And that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 3-E36. That is a 14, so it's probably going to be on his air rating. And it is, and it's a 36, so you got to guess it's probably going to be an air. And it is an E1. So um, Grace gets aboard with an air. The Diamondbacks have two guys on with only one out. And Baraja, the batter, they're going to pinch hit for Baraja. For sure they're going to do that. Stanton is a lefty. Still, they're going to go with that. They're going to pinch hit Greg Colbrin. That is a 3-8, and that isn't going to be good for him. That is going to be a strikeout. So Stanton strikes Colburn out. There are now two outs with two runners on and Womack up. Oh, here we go. And he gets a 5-8. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Yankees is a 3-E-20. That's Soriano. That is a 7 so that's going to be an out, and that is your series right there. No runs come in for the Diamondbacks. The Yankees didn't have to bat in the ninth, and uh, they win it.
by the score of 11 to 3. And they win the series. The Yankees have won the 2001 replay of the World Series by the, the uh, game count of four games to one. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.